Tuesday, July 24th, 8 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the recent swarm of earthquake activity off the coast of southern Oregon. They're considering this west-southwest of Gold Beach, Oregon. There's been a swarm of quakes ranging from 4.2 clear up to 5.6 just recently. And this is in the Cascadia Basin, so we have to pay very close attention to these quakes. They're right offshore, right out in here, maybe 50 miles according to the map offshore, maybe 60 miles. I've checked the cameras in the area. These are the cameras provided by Surfline.com. And as you can see, I'm not getting a very good look right now as it looks like the weather is very cloudy, quite possibly rainy, maybe some fog, I don't know. But the cameras that I did get a look at uh, before they kind of went almost dysfunctional. Um, and nothing's wrong up there. Don't don't take it the wrong way. It's just a camera. Sometimes they do this. Um, it, it, everything looked good as far as any tsunamis or anything like that. Nothing happening. Buoys in the area look great. Nothing showing up on the buoys. One thing I did want to look at is the seismographs to see if anything was detected on the seismos. And it does look like the 5.6 was detected and quite possibly the 5.0 it was actually the first one was a 5.0 downgraded to a 4.5 and then you can see the 5.6 so there's the swarm right there very evident in South Dakota which is just a few hundred miles away there's all of the earthquakes right there so kind of unusual you don't normally see that look at that that swarm is showing up in Nevada uh, Montana Sioux Falls, South Dakota, state of Washington. Look at that, all of those. There's the swarms right there. Let's see how far across the United States they go. Detected in Yellowstone. Uh, even New Hampshire, several thousand miles away, or at least a few thousand miles away. It was detected in New Hampshire, and that would be the 5.6. You can see the earlier ones that uh, began as a 5.0, which was downgraded to a 4.5, was not detected in New Hampshire. This one here, 5.6 was. So those were felt all across the United States, detected on most of the seismographs west of the Mississippi. There's Oregon right there, and that 5.6 spiked pretty good. Didn't last very long, but it was a brief, pretty strong earthquake. Once again, the weather conditions are... That right there is a bit unusual. I've never seen that before on this instrument. Let me take it back. Probably just a processing artifact. Did you see that? I don't normally see that on this instrument, and I have it running pretty much all day long on a different device. There you go. But you can see the tropical moisture still inundating the well, pretty much the majority of the eastern seaboard going clear up into Canada. Unusual storm out here in the Gulf of Mexico. I've been watching this since yesterday. I'm sure that was a photogenic storm from land. Probably created a very long roll cloud offshore. A lot of lightning associated with that, a lot of moisture associated with this system here that's going up the eastern seaboard. But back to the earthquake swarm. Buoys are good. So far everything looks good. We'll be on the lookout for more earthquakes in this area as we're five days into the unique planetary arrangement. Thanks for watching guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.